is another installment of old games played wrong. I believe this is Aliens vs Predator. It's on the Super Nintendo. I think I've played this before. I mean, come on, what, what person that was alive in the 90s hasn't at least played this once? Uh, it says workers were digging a new subway tunnel when they discovered dormant eggs of extremely dangerous parasite life form. The colonists were helpless against the alien horde. I can tell you off that I don't like the pacing of the uh, the font for this cutscene. They should just have a voice actor or something. They sent out a distress call to the Earth-based authorities. The distress call was received and understood by a passing spacecraft. I enjoy the cutscenes though, I like how they attempted to animate them, instead of just still shots. The predators were in search of big game. They had been thinking to hunt humans, but now they would be up against more challenging prey. That predator bothers me a little. Predator usually has a silver head, not gold. That looks cool. The animation for the uh, the text on Alien looks awesome with that animation on it. That's a really good title screen. Oh god. Yeah, I've, I have never played this before. I don't know what this is. I'm thinking of another Alien vs Predator game, clearly. K, B to jump. X to punch. No idea what Triangle is doing here. Oh, if you hold Triangle for about three seconds and release it, it does a special. Hmm. Press X to uh, pick up items there. I'm punching right now. I can't see myself. This is kind of disoriented. The animations are noticeably choppy in this game. The um the character, the protagonist and antagonist sprighting is actually consistent with the background at least, so it's not really jarring. What is jarring is the text on the top of the screen. The lives, the P power, the A power. It's I think the color the color scheme they chose for that is it stands out a little too much. It, it distracts my eyes. I can't really focus on enjoying the game. There has to be more to the uh, buttons here. Okay. The right shoulder button does a slide kick. And the left shoulder button does a slide kick in the opposite direction. I rather enjoy... I've always hated when an enemy just touches you and you fall down or get hurt in older games. That is so stupid, in my opinion. That's something I would never program into a game. Uh, but I do like the different alien aesthetics. I like how some of them have the orb-like heads and some are like different colors. Because we all know like the, the classic alien is actually just black. He's pitch black. You could color him blue if you wanted to, but black is his color. So I like the variants here. These hit boxings are disturbing. The aliens are like, it's pretty hairpin. They can like hit me from pretty much quite a far distance in the stages. I I hate, I don't like this predator or the character I'm playing with. I don't like that. I don't like his colors. His, again, his helmet is supposed to be silver. You can mess up or jank anything else on the character, but his helmet is always supposed to be silver. There is no, there is no alternate version of the Predator that has a different color helmet. And if you want to be extreme, there are some, some different costumes from other games and material where he has a black helmet 
but in most cases his helmet is the cliche alien helmet is usually silver so it's it's pretty distracting for me i hate the colors for this predator character if they got the colors right for this predator character this this actually wouldn't be as distracting as it is this is weird too he was holding a shock room but he never throws it he just has like a <laughs> he just has like a butt ton of them to throw that's weird because he's he's holding the the uh the ring colors are very muddy blue and brown are never two colors you should put together um, in a pattern you should never put those colors together in a pattern they they just scream dull you know, as you can see they did that for the floor for some weird reason and this is gonna hurt them in the long run considering you don't know what the floor is made of you don't know if it's dirty metal you don't know if it's sand it looks like in my opinion it looks like water but um yeah you just don't know what what's going on with the floor i hate when uh, certain textures are used that confusion So far, I uh, in regards to the, the gameplay, it uh, it has no startup frames. When you press an attack button, it pretty much just goes straight into the uh, attack animation. Most most games, most 2D products in general, they have uh, what's what's called a preparatory stance or a uh, a starting frame, which is basically a frame you go into before you actually attack, which gives you not only a warning or awareness that your button is working but it's, it's it's fluid it makes it look good so these these animations this, this is pretty choppy but before I pass judgment here I'm gonna take a second as soon as the enemies stop bombarding me yeah I think so yeah I think it's uh it's, it's got some choppy attack animations I'm actually trying to look at it there may be a startup on this punch here there may be a startup it just might be so fast you can't see it so I may be wrong it feels choppy though yeah because of the jump when I press the jump see how he squats down and then he jumps he has a startup for his jump so I'm going to assess or assume his attacks do too the aliens have been cleared from the streets, but now their underground hive have to be destroyed before the city would be free of them. That picture of Predator looked pretty cool up top. It's still janky, but it's cool. And now there's the water, so the water will be indicated by black and blue. Still kind of jarring, but okay, I, I get it. Something about the color of this game too, it's, it's distracting my eyes, it's making me, my eyes keep going up and looking at all those numbers and crap on the top of the screen, which is not good. There has to be a way to, oh the slide. Oh crap. Oh sweet. Again, I like the variation of the aliens, they, they're green now. Which is not a thing. The movies don't don't make the aliens different colors. Unless you want to refer to the uh, spin-offs of Prometheus and Alien Covenant. There you get white aliens. And I believe that's it. Which aren't even really aliens. They're like proto-morphs or proto-aliens. Sure they have a name for them. They were uh, created by David, who's like this antagonistic, bad android in uh, Prometheus. They carry him over into the sequel called Alien Covenant. Yeah, he's, he's a bad guy. He's a duty head. And he's basically the inventor of the aliens. I don't really have an opinion of that movie. It, um, most people didn't like Alien Covenant. I liked Alien Covenant. I thought it was. I, I didn't think it was good by any shakes. I hated the story. It was weird. 
but um, I like certain parts of it. Visually, the movie looked great, and uh, I like Mike, Michael Fassbender. I think he's awesome. And uh, there was a scene where he, as David, the android, was talking to another android who just happened to be him. So it's you get to see David acting with himself, and it was pretty cool. A lot of people said it was homoerotic, or it seemed like two boys that liked each other. But I didn't. I couldn't see it for the life of me. They were just sitting down and playing the flute. Maybe I'm not immature enough to see it as like, you know, as two boys liking each other. I just saw a couple guys trying to teach each other how to play music. Oh, oh my God! That was choppy. That happened too fast. He scared the mess out of me when he jumped out of the water. That, what, everything about that was, oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll try this again. I don't hate this game. I see what they're doing. Like, if a game has bad art or really bad sprites, I don't mind it. As long as the sprite for the characters and the enemies blends with the background. And these blend pretty well. Except for Predator, the, the choice to make Predator brown like this is terrible. Imagine if Predator was, if he was silver or chrome like these poles in the background. He would blend in so much better with the game. This game would be so much cooler. But um, other than that, I don't mind it because the arts, you know, if the arts all around ugly, then how can you complain about it? It's, it's consistent. They clearly have an art style that they were going for. They, they did it. That might be nitpicky, but like, you know, as, as like a little four or six year old, when I was playing this system, I, I cared. I cared. If, if a game was ugly, when I was little, I was drawing things, though. When, it, when I was in kindergarten, I knew how to draw like Super Nintendo covers perfectly. So I was always, I've always been artistically inclined and which kind of hampered me from enjoying certain things because if I see something with bad or different art it distracts my eyes and it's all I can focus on is how ugly it looks to me kind of like this game this game could look like the Sistine Chapel or it could look like gumball or something really you know something really artistic and cool looking but if there's clashing art in it I'll freak out I'll freak out it'd be all I talked about Speaking of things that's jarring though, the animations for these aliens is pretty off. Cause um, basically I'm referring back to what I said earlier about um, preparatory commands for your animations. Y you notice my predator before he does a punch which took me some time to catch on to. He actually prepares to throw the punch and he, pre he prepares for basically anything he does. Well for the aliens they're, they seem to be working on 2 to 3 frames per attack which means they have no startup so that's that's pretty bad because it's they're noticeably choppy and uh, by the way I'm not playing this on 60 FPS because it's a Super Nintendo game it won't even be able to reach 60 but I'm um, pretty sure it, it, it could be smoother it could be smoother this this guy this is the guy what's up with that light that light looks it doesn't look terrible, it just looks... It, it's, it's there. Maybe a little more transparency with that light on the floor or something. What's happening? What is what is this? I won't lie, this, this dude wrecked me last time. He's cheap. He clearly has a lot of range too with his, his hands. Which, see, which is why I'm trying to stay away from him. Cause these hitboxes, oh boy, oh no! <laughs> Rick, he's curb stomping me, dude. This, this is like, <laughs> oh my god, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh my, oh no. This is like a heavyweight boxer versus a teddy bear. Good God. 
I'm afraid to let this thing touch me. Oh no, no. Oh no. Okay, so he caved my face in. Um, <clears throat> The art is good in this. The music wasn't distractingly bad. Uh, the animations are choppy at some points, but the protagonist is... They got the protagonist animations more fluid. Overall, this has been uh, Aliens vs. Predator. This is not what I thought it was. Um, I can't say I like this. I have no... I'm, I'm not interested in playing this any further, which is usually a sign that I don't like a game. Plus, I had to pry myself from playing Five of Goals West earlier. I love Five of Goals West, and I will be playing that later. I love that game so much. But uh, yeah, this is Alien vs. Predator. This has been on Super Nintendo. Um, this is another episode of Old Games Played Wrong. If you like what you saw for whatever reason, pick it up. Get an emulator. Get a Super Nintendo. Buy the game. Do what you gotta do. But um, yeah, I'm out.